As we get deeper into the winter months and concerns over a triple demic of COVID-19, the flu and RSV, you and your health professionals now have more information to help guard against the spread of diseases. And as West News reporter Greg Fox explains, the state's COVID data dashboard is now providing even more frequent and detailed information after the settlement of a lawsuit. For cities, counties, health professionals, and individuals who want to track the spread of COVID-19, there's something new on the Florida Department of Health website. More detailed COVID-19 information now posted weekly. It was made possible by a lawsuit that challenged the state when, in 2021, during the Delta surge, the Department of Health stopped providing weekly updates. School districts said they needed that information to determine safety precautions for students and staff returning for fall classes. It is really, really important for our government, particularly the Department of Health, to be open and transparent about public health. Democratic former state representative Carlos Guillermo Smith was the plaintiff, suing because he thought the state's pullback on data distribution handicapped school districts and shielded public records. When the DeSantis administration refused to release these public records after our lawful public records request, they were breaking the law. Under the settlement, there is no admission of wrongdoing by the administration of Republican Governor Ron DeSantis and the Department of Health provided West 2 News with a statement reading, it is unfortunate that we have continued to waste government resources arguing over the formatting of data with armchair epidemiologists who have zero training or expertise. We will continue serving Floridians by executing our core mission of protecting, promoting, and improving the health of all people in Florida. The COVID-19 health data is not only being provided on a weekly basis again, it also is providing much more detailed demographic data. Let me show you. First, you click on the charts dashboard, and you can see right across the top here, you can look up information by race, by ethnicity, by sex, and by age. And then you can also go county by county to find out about COVID cases where you are or where you may be traveling. Hospitals and doctors call it indispensable information that helps them to advise patients on the best possible care. More information is better. It's always going to be better. Dr. Matt Seibel is a local physician and says it's important for people in high-risk health groups to be able to access more detailed data so we're all safer. And that way I can make good choices about where I want to go and what kind of personal protective devices I'm choosing to use. In Orange County, Greg Fox, West 2 News. While the Centers for Disease Control recommends boosters to maintain the effectiveness of vaccines against COVID-19, the Florida Surgeon General does not recommend booster shots for people under the age of 65.